Good afternoon. My name is Christoph Gachet. I'm head of the Christian Doppler Laboratory on Molecular Cancer Chemo Prevention here at the Medical University of Vienna. And I would like you to uh, welcome you to this video podcast uh, on our recent publication in GUT with the title Mesalazine and Thymokinone Attenuate Intestinal Tumor Development in Living Cree. MSH2 conditional knockout mice. Okay. I would like you to introduce you to the first and second author of this paper, the first author being Benedict Cortum, who is actually a graduate medical student at this university and did this work as part of his diploma thesis, and Christoph Kampriger, who is a senior postdoc in my laboratory. My laboratory has a long-standing interest in studying the molecular effects of mesalazine. This has to do with my profession as gastroenterologist, taking care of patients with inflammatory bowel diseases. Doctors know how effective mesalazine can treat colitis, uh, and they also have learned that it is able to prevent colorectal cancer in this setting. About 10 years ago, we identified an effect of mesalazine that was very surprising. Mesalazine actually improves replication fidelity in epithelial cells independent of mismatch repair. This is why we started studying mesalazine in the context of Lynch syndrome. Lynch syndrome is the most common hereditary cancer syndrome mostly affecting the colorectum. Lynch syndrome gene carriers have a mutation in one of those mismatch repair genes such as MSH2 and this MSH2 was selectively knocked out in the intestine of our willing Cree uh, mice. Here in the first part of our study we tested various substances on their effect on replication fidelity and in the second part we tested mesalazine and thymokinone which has been identified as one of these substances in the mouse model of Lynch syndrome. Prior to the animal experiments we tested the natural compounds cinnam aldehyde, taurine, thymokinone and mesalazine on their effects of replication fidelity and cell growth. Cells were incubated with various concentrations of cinnam aldehyde, taurine and thymokinone for about a week and the total cell count was analyzed by flow cytometry. We observed a dose dependent reduction with cinnam aldehyde and thymokinone but not with taurine. No effect on replication fidelity was observed by the treatment with cinnam aldehyde and taurine. In contrast, thymokinone improved replication fidelity already when used at a concentration of 2.5 micromolar. That was the reason why we decided to use thymokinone and the previously tested mesalazine for chemoprevention of intestinal neoplasia in MSH2 willing Cree mice. To confirm that mesalazine and thymokinone improve replication fidelity also in vivo, we use the mouse model with a conditional knockout of MSH2 that reproduces the intestinal neoplasia in Lynch syndrome. We treated these mice for 10 months with either a normal chow or chow containing mesalazine or thymokinone both in two different concentrations respectively. After 10 months of treatment we saw that both mesalazine and thymokinone reduced the incidence as well as the multiplicity of small intestinal tumors significantly. We microdissected normal epithelial and tumor tissue and tested for microsatellite instability using a panel of five murine microsatellite markers whereas normal epithelium of untreated mice showed marked microcellular instability, mesalazine and thymokinone were able to stabilize these microsatellites in the normal epithelium of the small intestine. No effect was shown for tumor tissue. So we found that mesalazine and Thymokinone were both efficient to reduce microsatellite instability in normal epithelium, suggesting improvement of replication fidelity also in vivo. So what are the new findings of our study? 
First, thymokinone has similar effects on replication fidelity as mesalazine. In both substances are actually chemopreventive in a mouse model of Lynch syndrome by showing that there is a reduced incidence and multiplicity of intestinal tumors in these mice. In addition to that, the mechanism seems to be really on replication fidelity as we were able to show that in the intestinal epithelium of these mice, mesalazine was able to reduce microsatellite instability. We therefore propose that both thymokinone and mesalazine uh, are candidate compounds for chemoprevention in Lynch syndrome gene carriers. Thank you very much for watching us.